Soaps, my name is Katie Carson and today is the 2021 Merry and Bright Collection launch day over at Royalty Soaps. The soaps that will be in stock are Silver Bells and Amethyst, Winter Wonderland, Gingerbread Village, Sugar Plum Fairy, Merry Mushrooms, Peppermint Candy, and Peppermint Hot Cocoa. This is definitely something that if you would like to get it before Christmas, buy it today. Without further ado, let's make some soap. Let's get started on this soap by first pouring in our lye water solution. The recipe I'm using can be found in the description box below. I've been using it for years. Uh, it's the Royalty Soaps Classic Bubbles recipe. Then I'm gonna blend this on low until just past emulsion. I need a lot of working time for this soap. Now I have to split this container into six, yes, six different containers. Just going to pour in my soap batter. It's a little bit grainy because my room is a little bit cold, as are my oils. This is never really something I'm concerned about. It's not false trace and I still have some mixing to do. So if you see your batch get grainy like this, just know that you still have some mixing to do. Um, if you poured it like this, you might end up with like rivers and stuff. Um, there might be a little bit of separation, so it's a little bit under blended, but it's not like, oh no, I got it to trace and then it fell out of trace. Like, nah, your room is just cold and you have some extra blending. I am going to a uh, scrapey scrapey out my little container here because well, just quite frankly, uh, we won't be returning to it, so I need to get everything out of it. Now let's talk about coloring. So I have two colors that are going in that I'm not adding any sort of lightener to, and that is some blue tide. So I'm going to put that one right over here. We're not adding titanium dioxide to this, so it's not going to be any form of a pastel. And then the other one that we're doing is called Flirt. This is like a purpley ready sort of pink color, fuchsia or whatever. <laughs> and then everyone else has some form of a lightener in it. So I'm going to add a teeny tiny bit of water to uh, eat up all this titanium dioxide in here, get it nice and blendy. Mix that around, make sure it's good and dissolved with some blue Tide. Next up is my Cosmic Carolyn. You guys know how I love her. Next up is Here Comes the Bride. This is an orangey, pinky red. You might could even call it salmon. And then we have just some regular old titanium dioxide. That's gonna be our white. The fragrance oil and kaolin clay blend that I'm using today is made with Nature's Gardens Sangria Punch. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna blend everything up. I can't wait to see what these look like. Okay guys, it's time to start pouring like right now. With soaps like this, with lots of different colors, you can waste like absolutely no time. I'm not gonna worry that much about drips or anything. I've just got to go. <laughs> so here we go. I'm starting out putting these two blues next to each other. I wonder if I'm going to uh, regret that decision later, but for now, I thought it might be nice just to layer them one after the other, and then I'll split up some of these pinks with the white. Now, this pink that I'm pouring right here, this is the one with Always a Bridesmaid, and I do expect that to turn a little bit. It should have some more warm, kind of orange tones in there. Right now, we're not seeing a lot of that, so fingers crossed that uh, it actually does what it's supposed to do. Thank you. 
All right, I'm super duper pleased with this. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit up. I'm gonna clean up the edges and everything. We'll mix up the soap frosting and move right along. Okay guys, I have my soap frosting ready to go. This is a blend of a lighter color blue and a darker color blue. Both of them are blue tied. And I'm using the Atico 826 tip, I believe. So this is kind of a frilly frosting tip. So the designs for Cray Cray Holiday are kind of inspired by a few different companies that I really, really love. And of course, the whole 1950s tinsel, brightly colored holiday decorating. So the companies that I've been looking at a lot this year are Oh Joy, The House That Lars Built, and another company that is Austin based, and I really hope I don't like butcher the name, but I think it's Kalo Chic. All of their branding focuses on really bright colors that they tailor specifically around individual holidays, events, etc that may not ordinarily be very bright. So bringing color into things that may not ordinarily have color, which I really, really love. Now, if you look at my whole house, uh, I keep it pretty neutral, but I'm always telling uh, people that I know it's because my brain is so colorful. I need some quiet. <laughs> I'm constantly thinking of soap designs and lots of pretty packaging and stuff like that. So having a kind of neutral area to just chill out and relax helps me personally be more creative. But there you go. There's sort of the brief history of why I chose to do a brighter, like merry and bright Christmas and holiday season. And turns out you guys typically uh, like those designs a lot as well. And I really wanted to make soaps that were extremely giftable. I have noticed that with a lot of Christmas designs, unless you're using it for yourself, by the time you actually give it to the person around Christmas time, like Christmas time's over because you're giving it to them on Christmas day. So them using a red and green soap is only going to be after Christmas. Basically, I was trying to create a holiday line that is relevant after the actual holidays because these bars last 50 to 60 washes for most people. So if you give it to somebody on Christmas day, they're going to be using it well into February. And I wanted those designs to, you know, be able to carry on that long instead of just being, hey, it's red and green and those are kind of outdated now. All right, now to put my little dollop on top. This two-toned piping is just absolutely delightful. Let's go ahead and add our glitter blend. So this is a blend of Eco Glitter from Brambleberry, Rainbow Eco Glitter, and also some from The Good Glitter. Let me see what it is. Fairy dust, fairy dust from The Good Glitter. So pink and rainbow and just the pink honestly matches so much of the pink on the inside. I felt like this would be the perfect addition. Pull some of that pink to the top. And now, time for some soap gumballs. Yes, yes, I love it. I'm trying to be very, very careful about where I place these. That way I don't have issues with my cutter later. You guys know how I am. Last one here, and I hope I've placed everything correctly. I've at least done my best. <laughs> Alrighty, there they are, all pretty setting up. I can't wait to see what they look like on the inside. I think that's going to be the real test of whether or not I've nailed the design. I can also see that some of these are in slightly off to the side. Let's fix that. That seems to be something with this particular piping tip you kind of have to look out for. Uh, and that is like placement of the embeds. It's easy with this tip, at least for me. I don't know, maybe for other people it's not, but at least for me, it's easy to get it crooked. I don't know why. Okay, that looks a little straighter. <laughs> all right, let me bring you guys in for a close up so you can see it in all of its glory. 
All right, you guys, this is what it looks like up close. And now you can probably see how that fairy dust glitter really does match the pink perfectly. This is one of the ones I'm most excited to cut. So we will be back in 18 to 24 hours to uh, cut up these bars. Take a look at the inside. Hopefully that, uh, that little pink bridesmaid marker has turned the right color. If not, I might have to add a little orange in the future. But we shall see in 18 to 24 hours. I'll be back after this quick commercial break. All right, Caleb, pick a soap. Pick a soap. Any soap to cut. All right, Caleb, do you want to cut it? Yeah. Ah, you, you lay it so confidently. <laughs> Now, I will tell you, as I was telling you. <laughs> what if them, I just slammed it down? <laughs> no! Like, right there. Well, actually, it might be correct. Oh. <laughs> it is correct. Oh! Some of us are just gifted that way, I guess. It's going to get I told bit. them yesterday I was nervous about that always a bridesmaid, but based on the side, it looks like it may have turned out right. <laughs> wow. Very strong. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Ah, I'm so glad it's pigmented enough in that a uh, dark pink color. It, it looks great. I love it. Oh, I'm glad. It definitely looks like the reference photos I was looking at for this whole Tinseltown 1950s style holiday. I just think that all the colors actually worked out. And that's really a blessing now, ain't it? In the future, I might add a little less titanium dioxide to that always a bridesmaid just because now I know how it's going to look. It might be fun for it to be just ever so slightly more orange and a little less pink. I don't know. We'll see how this sits and how I feel about it, but I love the frosting on top. I love the glitter. The Sparkle Me Aqua was a perfect addition. Hey, Caleb, how about you pick out a question of the day? What's your favorite era of Christmas decorations or favorite overarching style? So there's like white Christmas, there's 1950s Christmas. I mean, there's all the color schemes that are just broken up. Like there's fully red and fully green Christmas. There's Renaissance Christmas. There's Renaissance Christmas. There's Victorian Christmas. There's also cabin Christmas. Oh yeah, that's super cozy. Uh, I'd say overall, I love the Victorian Christmas because it's so dressy. I love to dress up. And Victorian Christmas had no chill. It was like jewels and beautifulness and everything's engraved and stuff. A Parisian Christmas might also be nice. All of those sound nice to me though. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it down in the comment section below. Okay, but see, I told you it was a good one. <laughs> There's just something about the bright Christmas color palette that just makes me so happy. And as I was lining up some of these things, I'm sorry, I've got an itch right there, never mind me. As I was lining up some of these bars like in a bathroom, which is something that I do, small business tip, if you wanna see like how your products are going to look and what people, your customers, are going to be receiving, go place your products in your own bathroom so that you can see how does this look sitting on a counter? How does this look? sitting in a shower like is this really nice to see only in a package or only online in a picture or is it something that actually looks good in person after it's been used a couple of times so as I was doing that with this particular soap I was just like this is just a good one it's I think it's gonna have a lot of colors that a lot of you guys have in your bathrooms already especially this time of year anyways I've talked a lot for all of you who are going to be ordering today from my website just a big fat thank you I can already feel myself getting teary. Rain it in, sister! <laughs> now ain't the time for tears! As many of you probably know, 2021 kind of felt like a continuation of 2020 and um, it's been challenging for me as well as many other people in the whole wide world. It's just been different. It seems like everything is a new evolving place and uh, there's a lot of confusion and whatever and Royalty Soaps has not only been a place that I hope has brought you some comfort and some stability and was just kind of a constant for you this year, but that's really what it did for me as well because I had things that I was working through and you know things that were difficult and hard I'm a real life human being and having this space to come back to and continually just get to talk about happy things and sudsy things 
is just a blessing. It's a blessing to me. It's a blessing to my family. We're just so grateful for your continued support. We turned 10 this year. It's just, I just stand back and marvel at what this thing has become. When I think back to 17 year old me tromping down to get a DBA, which actually means I need to go back down and renew it because it's been 10 years and never in a million years when I went and got that piece of paper did I think this is something I'm gonna have to renew and that's incredible and I just am so grateful so that's where we're gonna end you guys have an absolutely royal day and I will see you all in some very fun upcoming videos I hope you like them. okay bye for now yeah.